here. I'm here. <laughs> What's up guys and welcome back to the Rip Games Vlog. We're here in a loud, noisy and smoky Mondello Park for probably the craziest video we've ever attempted. We're here today, I'm gonna try to be in LA tomorrow. We're gonna try and drift at the Drift Games Bash today. We're gonna try and drift at Drift Week tomorrow. Two continents, 24 hours, an American car in Europe, a European car in America. I'm not sure if it's gonna work out. We're just gonna film it and see what happens. We're here with the Corvette today. It's the first time people have seen it in the new livery. It's looking pretty sweet. It's the first time it's had a passenger seat in, so I'm gonna get Blaine into the passenger seat. We're gonna go show you what the Drift Games Bash is all about. It's our favorite event of the year. We run like three or four of them a year. It's 125 drivers, four tracks, two days, one big after party. And as you can see from the company I'm keeping today, James Dean, Becky Evans, Darren McNamara, we've got all the big guns out alongside all the boys starting off their drift careers. It's a great way for the whole drift community to come together. People get to talk to the best in the business and have the crack with the people just starting off. So tracks are gone live. We're gonna show you all the different tracks that you can do at the bash. And we're gonna have some fun and we're gonna shred some gold line tires from the tire box in the Corvette. Let's get it on. Even though I've been working here nearly three years, my first passenger stay with you. Really? Yeah. It's a lot scary. Long scary. overdue. It's a lot less scary than going with Josh. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go to the first track. So this track is basically like a beginner's track for warming up. What it's really good for is just scrubbing all the dirt off your front tires, getting a feel for the car, and basically making sure everything's working. So you can go in here, it's not too high speed. You just get a feel for the car, especially for the guys starting off drifting for the first time. This place is perfect. It's just like a little ball pen just to have some fun in and get yourself up to speed before you hit the faster two big layers. So we're gonna go in here, warm the car up. I'm on road tires, so I'm not gonna have a whole lot of grip. So I just wanna get a feel for it in here, do a lap or two, and then we'll head out onto the big track. which is my favorite track. It's got sharp corners, fast corners, big corners, small corners. It's all about technicality and you can get some gangster angles. So I'm looking to go a little bit backwards on this lap if I can and see how we get on. But uh, I love this track. one more lap on the last track which this is the one that everyone loves flicking under the bridge 
70 mile an hour, let it hang out, and a really technical second section. This is the national track. We're gonna try and do it in one run. I think that's all we have on the tires, and it's gonna rain, so we gotta get the roof back on. So, third and final track for today. This is my first time under the bridge. Oh, really? Ever. It's quite frightening. <laughs> that's just what you want to hear. for Saturday the national gets switched on the Sunday so there's another track layout as well but yeah so much fun everything like as a drifter it's everything you want you can't get too comfortable on one track you've got slow tracks fast tracks everything in between so it's pretty sweet and we're still in one piece all right guys we showed you the three track layouts we're running on the Saturday we run another one on the Sunday and we've been out shredding all morning it's so much fun everyone's having a blast getting more laps than they know what to do with there's cars everywhere, there is just trains going off everywhere, everyone smiles all around, that's what this event is all about. But it's not only for the drivers, it's also for the public. It's the first time ever you get to come down and chat to the likes of James Dean and all these guys, Jack Shanahan, and also get in the passenger seat and get spins with them, or go out battling with them door to door. We were only saying earlier on, you'd have to spend probably 100,000 euro to get to the level that you can go twin battle with James Dean, but you can come to the bash and do it all day if you want, so it's pretty cool. So I'm gonna get some passengers into the Corvette. It's raining a little bit now, which is good, so I can get loads more laps in, not be shredding tires. So let's get back on the track. It's gonna be a little sketchy, but sketchy's good.
guys, we're finished up day one of the bash. We had an absolute blast with all the boys shredding on the track all day. And we did some judging, did some commentary. Corvette is in one piece. It's a little dirtier than the last couple of videos because of all the rain today. We drove it in the wet, drove it in the dry. It was a massive success today. And I'm a little jealous that I'm jetting off now to LA. And I know it sounds weird because I actually really want to drive with everyone again here tomorrow. The bash is just the best thing ever. So now we're going to go give some prizes to some of the best drivers from the day. We're going to have a Q&A with some of the bigger drivers that are here this weekend just to get some advice to some of the newbies that are coming into the sport. And then we're going to have a few drinks. And then the adventure will definitely continue from there. What's up guys, I want to take a second to thank one of our partners here at Drift Games, Mobile One Oil. We use Mobile One in all of our street cars and our drift cars, and even the Mobile One Mustang, which runs 900 horsepower, does so reliably because we use the best lubricants from Mobile One. Check out their full range now, get them in your car, and stay on track. <laughs> flight is still 10 to 12. So we're about, it's, he's landing in about, let's say 20 minutes, we're an hour away. So we should get there, in the time he clears customs, get his bags and everything. We should hopefully be there, and roughly about the same time. And then fire him in the car, and then fire him to the track, and then fire him back in the car again. Your chariot awaits. I'm here. <laughs> I'm here. <laughs> Good? Uh. <laughs> <laughs> I told the immigration guy exactly what happened. I didn't even have the energy to make up a story. And he just goes, that is just awful. He's like, I hope you have a great time. I was like, you deserve a great time now at this stage. <laughs> well, we have about an hour and 10 drive the track finishes at 5, so... Right now we're going to get there at 2.20 tw 2 on the sat-nav now, plus LA traffic, so you should be there for... You should be on track for 3. So I have <laughs> Drift Games Bash driver band, Drift Week driver band. One day, I haven't even had a shower in between them. <laughs> I haven't driven the car or this track. I'm not even going to think about it. I don't know what time zone it is, my voice is gone. I can't tell if I'm hungover or not, but I'm getting in the car now. I'm just going to do as much driving as I can. we got about two hours of track time right at the end of Drift Week, so I'm jumping in the car. And Josh is jumping in. We're just going to go shred as much as we can in the time we have, just to get something out of this week for me. And uh, I'm very excited. Like, go, go, go. You hear your stupid helmet. Here we go, first lap. <laughs> I know. I can't believe I'm here, I can't believe I'm doing this. My mouth is so dry, my, my goose, I have goosebumps on my arms. It's what it's all about, like after the last 12 days of absolute misery, like this is, it's emotional even to be doing this, it's crazy. So I'm gonna take a little breather, get some liquid, then go back out and absolute shred for the last session. Yeah, let me see your hand, let me see it. No, put it like this. Oh yeah, 
That's the spicy one right there. Yeah. We got that That's high when one. you know it was good. We booped at the end over there. Okay. At the end, we just did a little tiny. Do you do that with your own car? Oh no! Oh Ooh, no! Marty, hey. me? I don't know. That wasn't me. I didn't reverse it, dude. This is the deep end here. This, if you want to know what the deep end looks like, this is the deep end. So, it's a pink clad, fancy seat. Yeah. So, we're gonna try and break a record today. Two Corvettes, two Continents, one 24-hour period. Savio has been nice enough to let me drive this for a couple of laps. I'm nervous because it's not my car. But I'm hoping it handles pretty similar to my car. So we're gonna run out. So do a couple of laps, do a couple of easy ones, not too crazy. And uh, yeah, drift Corvettes, or we should be drifting Corvettes in America. more home in this car. Yeah. It feels like my car, it's weird. It's like, I don't know, it's like, it's, I'm not going to say it's tamer because it's similar, but it's like, yeah, it's just like a little bit tamer than my car, but handling wise, it's weird because it's almost identical. Flapping and then I obviously did dirt drop and took it off. It, it must have been. I, I mean, Duarte can't be annoyed if he did it. My, my thinking is that it wasn't my fault. Watching everybody have so much fun. All I've said for an entire week on WhatsApp is Dave has left the chat. That's literally all I've done because it's like they're like, oh, how was today? Do you want the honest, honest answer? Yeah. Oh no, every time it's like, how, how was today? No comment. Like oh, today sucks. It's okay. Well, that's not the that's not the crush side. Oh, it's alright. It's not bad. That is absolutely, in my opinion, that's perfect. 
I think you put that back on now. Barely any scrape marks even. Look at this. You wouldn't awful. even know. Just no. a few, just a few clips. Like, I always say that comes from a factory like that. Yeah. It's perfect. You know what? You put it back on you when you notice it. In fact, it adds character to the car, I think. I've been saying this the whole time. Damage is character. Oh, there's a story behind that. I say, Adam, it's a bit of an emotional time now. I only said I only actually gonna cop this already like a few minutes ago. But we made it to Z. This is the most important achievement because not everyone made this. Not everyone got this. Really no. I would say half the people got this. Yeah, because I like we've seen people pulling in at about four o'clock today, like for the last because they haven't been here all like for the last couple of days, so they're just pushing to get to the finish line. But we've done every single track. We've maximized ish sea time out of it. We pushed ourselves and I, and I I went out of my comfort zone. You definitely got out of your comfort zone behind the wheel. It is a little bit emotional. There was times when we thought we wouldn't. There was some, I mean, wheels coming off, there was crashes, and we got we got extremely lucky, I would say, with the stuff that we did actually do wrong. I did wrong, sorry. Well, we broke down on the motorway, and like it jammed, jammed to a halt, and the car was like it fully, I thought we had broken the rotors, I thought we'd ripped the handbrake out. There was loads of things that were running through my head while cars were sk skimming the wing mirrors parked on the side of the freeway. It's been hectic, but it's not done yet. Because we've we've a little bit of fun tomorrow, and you go, you guys continue the trip. This isn't the end of the you have trip week. No, this is this is the end. But I was saying it's emotional because it's the end of the track. This, tra this car, this this car, our track time. Because tomorrow we go to Hoonigan, have a bit of shred fun. Like I think like, we're gonna what's gonna happen there. Then you guys go like travel LA. Then you go to Florida. So it's not the end of the USA adventure. It's just uh -huh. the it's end. the chap chapter one of I would say chapter. There's three chapters. Three chapters. Three chapters. Three. Three. Three chapters. So it looks like everyone, including yourself. What a way to end it, right? Literally, last 10 minutes was like the most power 10 minutes I've ever seen in my life. And you were Complete taking car. can canards off. Canards, you broke breaking wheel. wheels, breaking things, almost blowing the Windshield motor, everything fluid. again. <laughs> Windshield washer, fluid. Nobody broke fenders. as much as Jordan, though. Jordan, you win, Jordan. I win Drift Week? Yeah, you win. Wow. Hoonigan is tomorrow, my guy. Way. And if you think that this was something, you should wait till Hoonigan tomorrow. <laughs> he said he's gonna full send the whole car into I'm the wall and completely car, finish it. Oh, he was saying he wants to be internet famous from uh, destroying his car. Or he might kill the guy with the camera. The, I was told aim for the guy with the camera. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm not gonna go out when you're there, so. You, you guys have been great guests. That's very nice. fun to hang around, very. Welcome back any any time. Really? Even Josh. Yeah. Even Josh. <laughs> even me. <laughs> Jesus. No, that... I just want to even say from me and Josh's point, that's why Dave's sitting with us now. I just want to say thanks to you and your crew. Absolutely, your crew, you guys are welcome. Your, your family. I'm so them. happy Dave made it. We wanted to get him here for the last two hours just, just to give any any seat. My story them. was cool about me making it back on track, but his I think okay. beats mine. Having COVID and making it over still. But honestly, like I'm not sure what I was expecting from coming over here, but like you guys have been from day one almost like we've known each other for years and like so welcoming, so helpful. And honestly, we, 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 we never said how we were going to do it beforehand. We wouldn't have made it to Z if we were doing it beforehand. I was just going to say, we were talking about that in the car, and it's like if we had bought our own car, completed our own work, which we can't do any work here, we would have, we would have been. F, F U C K. I'm glad you guys enjoyed it. We did too. And you can see it. Yeah, we're going to go fix all the things you broke, you know. Peace out, boys. Right. See you guys soon.